look at how I get so red and hot and sweaty when I film. I get so shiny and this rosy cheek business. Hey guys, I decided to do a quick little video, just kind of update you on my life, what's been going on since I got married. So I got married on September 24th and that's almost three weeks ago. I can't believe how time has just flown by. Like the year of wedding planning seemed like it took forever and then in a blink of an eye, the wedding was over, the honeymoon was over. Um, but I'm really glad that it's over. I'm glad that we're like back to regular life and <sighs> yeah. So, okay, first of all, let me just like quickly touch upon everything. So the wedding day, the wedding day was friggin unbelievable like Jim and I are so surprised how well it went because if you're following the vlogs you'll know that like everything was going wrong that month especially like the week or two the two weeks before the wedding everything was going wrong breaking um, firing people hiring new people last minute um, tiaras breaking dress not fitting properly I didn't even tell you about this one but um, the Thursday before was the rehearsal that we were supposed to learn what to do at the church. And it's important for bride and groom to get that time because it just puts your mind at ease. It helps you to like feel calmer that day because you know what to expect, you know where you're standing. But it was even more important for me because we got married in Jim's Greek Orthodox Church and I'm not Greek Orthodox, nor had I ever even been to a Greek Orthodox ceremony, so I really needed to know what was going on. And the priest never showed up. We waited for a half an hour and no one showed up. And he apologized and he's a sweet guy and they just forgot. But I, needless to say, I was terrified. I was like, what the heck? What are we gonna do? What am I gonna do? Because if you ever watched, well, if you watched my vlog, You'll, you, you have, you'll have seen snippets of the ceremony, but it's very different from what I'm used to being Catholic or even just like non-denominational weddings. They're, they're, they're very, it's very different from that. It's very different. So I had no clue and I was really, really nervous. Yet that day it just went so smoothly. And the weather, the Saturday before the wedding and the Saturday after the wedding, was cold and rainy and windy and gloomy. And yet, randomly, our wedding day was just bright and sunny and crisp and cool and fresh and perfect. You know, guys, if you are getting married soon and everything's going wrong, good, because that means that it's just getting it all over with before the wedding and your wedding day is gonna be friggin' amazing because it friggin' was. I was, I'm so blessed, honestly. Everything just went so perfectly. So the wedding day was perfect and um, I won't get into too much detail with that because I mean, I, I posted a vlog and so you can watch that and there's gonna be like probably another video coming soon, like the professional one. That vlog was from my cousin, Sean. Thank you so much, Sean. He was nice enough to just like vlog the whole day and I had something that I could put together to show you guys and have a memory for me like quicker than my videographer would uh, get it to me. So that was really nice. And um, what else, the honeymoon? The honeymoon was friggin' relaxing and amazing. Um, I got, I ended up getting sick. I got Jim's sore throat and like a cold or whatever. Um, so what that did, it didn't ruin the vacation. I still had a friggin' amazing time. It was just the most romantic, relaxing, lazy, fun, I can't even explain it. It was just amazing. I also have a vlog on that if you wanna check out some of the highlights. Um, but what did kind of, what, the, what my sickness did do is kind of mess with my plan of being healthy. Okay, so in January, I went on a vacation and I have a vlog for that one too. What I did was I exercised each day for 30 to 60 minutes. I ate a healthy breakfast, a healthy lunch, and then decided to indulge during dinner. And then if I did have like pizza, it'd be two slices. If I did have ice cream, it'd be like one little scoop. Um, and
And that's how I managed to go on a 10 day cruise and not lose and not gain a single pound. It was amazing. And I, not only was it great cause I didn't set myself back, but I felt amazing. I didn't feel bloated. I felt energetic. Everything was amazing. So that was my plan for this vacation. Um, because I wanted to feel good and I didn't want to set myself so far back when I got home. But being sick really zapped the energy out of me and I, so the workouts in the whole week, in the seven days, I worked out twice. Um, but the workouts were pretty wah wah, like they were useless. Um, and then the food. Um, in the vlog, I show some of like the dining room food that I had when I had my camera with me. Um, but it, what, that wasn't the food, that wasn't the only food that I ate. Okay. In a cruise, if you haven't been on a cruise, let me tell you that food is just at your fingertips 24 seven in abundance everywhere constantly. So you'd be going to your room thinking you're just gonna go there to shower and get ready for dinner. But as you're walking by, you see burger and fries over there, just like over there, chef making burger and fries. So you gotta eat the burger and fries. Then you gotta go, then like, let's say you're walking to go to watch the entertainment and you're walking by and there's like the ice cream bar and you're just like, oh, well, I gotta get ice cream cause I'm walking by it, obviously. So you're just constantly eating. And then every time you're in your room and you feel a little hungry because, well, your stomach's just used to gross amounts of food, um, you can pick up the phone and just call room service 24 hours a day. So yeah, I would just constantly do that. We were, okay. A lot of you said to me like, it's okay, it's your honeymoon. It's once in a lifetime, enjoy it. You deserve it, girl, who cares? It's just one week. You're right. You're right. And that's what I would say to you guys. But I remember how amazing I felt on the January cruise and knowing that it's possible to enjoy yourself, not feel deprived, but still look and feel amazing and not set yourself back 10 pounds, that I would have preferred that. That's what I went in. That's the plan that I went in with. But then having the zero energy to work out because of the sickness, made me more lazy and then I just went crazy with the food. I just really let myself go probably more than I have in since the before my journey. Like I've had binges since my journey and I've had things where I've gone all out but they've lasted a day or two or a weekend. This lasted seven days, seven days. And even the few days before the wedding, um, because we were so busy constantly going here and there and appointments and so many things to do we were picking up a lot of takeout and eating junk food okay so since i've been back what has happened well when i got back i didn't exercise the first week so last week i did not exercise because i was unpacking i was doing like 20 loads of laundry and i was pretty much on the couch um editing my wedding vlog and the honeymoon vlog and that pretty much took up the whole week my eating was horrible. I, we rent, because we were in just the mode of eating whatever we wanted, when we wanted, constantly. Anytime we were out, we would pick up chips or we would, we would just eat poorly. We'd or, we ordered pizza for like, and I'm cool with pizza, but just on your member, the weekly cheat meal whole thing. So this wasn't part of plan. I wasn't getting back on track. Um, I was feeling worse. I was fle feeling sluggish. The day I got back from the honeymoon, I stepped on the scale. It said that I had gained 10 pounds, uh, which is exactly what I expected. Um, and then I decided not to weigh myself in again until my diet bet, which starts Monday. So I'm going to see like what my current weight is. Um, I, ex I expect it's not quite 10 pounds. Like maybe I've gained five pounds, seven pounds, I don't know, like, we'll see. But I've made it worse by prolonging the junk food craze. Um, and then we headed straight in to Thanksgiving. This weekend was Thanksgiving. So yeah, there was abundance of food. There was pie everywhere and ice cream everywhere. And I have a big family and um, I'm now I'm married. So we had a meal Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, and I still didn't even see all of my family. So yeah, a lot of food, a lot of food. And brings us to this week. This week again started off rocky cause I'm like confused. Like I'm, acting like my old self 
pre-weight loss journey. And, but yet I have the mind frame of like, I remember the stuff of the new gen and I'm like having all glitches and I'm feeling crazy because I'm like, but lazy and pizza is amazing. Do that more. And then there's the new gens like, uh, no, because you feel bloated and you feel disgusting. Don't do that. Go exercise. You feel amazing after the endorphins, duh. So I'm just really like in the middle of battling myself. Um, I don't feel stressed or depressed about it because I expected this. Like, I think a lot of people indulge on their wedding and their honeymoon and that's okay. That's what they do and that's fine. But um, I really wanna get back on track and I think that putting my diet bed for when I got back was like perfect timing cause kind of like that trigger for me to, okay, get back into weight loss journey mode. Um, anyways, the first couple days of this week, again, I didn't exercise and I still ate just whatever I wanted. It wasn't junk food anymore this week, like it was the last two weeks, but um, I still was just, anytime I felt hungry, went to the fridge, got what I wanted, cereal, um, s you know, in between meals, having cereal, having like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, just, just whatever I wanted. Um, and now the last couple of days have been back on track. So two days back on track and I already feel amazing. It's, it's crazy how just two days can make you feel so different already. Like just two days of exercise, eating healthy and drinking lots of water has already boosted my energy and brought me back to my, like I feel connected to the journey again. Truly the thing I love about myself and what I've done with my journey is, is I've just made the only rule to never give up. That's the only promise I've made to myself. That's the only goal I put on myself because I know that life's gonna happen. I know there's going to be holidays where you're gonna wanna indulge. Um, I, I love my weekly cheat meals. Um, I like the fact that I can get off track for a week on my honeymoon enjoy myself and then know, trust myself that I will get back on track. And that just comes from practice. Practice of picking yourself up after binges, after cheat meals, after slipping up, after vacations. Just, that's, it just comes from practice. And if you do what I do and you just tell yourself, no matter what, I try, I'm gonna try my best each day to be healthy and exercise. And I promise myself I'll never give up no matter how many times I slip up. If you just do those two things, you will succeed. And that's what I love about this. I don't have to have that fear anymore like, oh my God, I'm gonna go back to the old gen. Oh my God, I'm going to gain 80 pounds back. Oh my God, um, what, you know, what's gonna happen? What am I gonna, no, I trust myself now. I trust that I can binge or I can have my planned cheat meal or I can go nuts on vacation for a week but no matter what, I always come back. I always come back to my journey and I continue. I continue on because it's all part of the journey. It's all encompassing. I, I don't want to feel angry that, I don't want to be sitting there ang angry on my honeymoon thinking, I can't have this, I can't. Because once I tell myself I can't, I get so angry and I get so um, like a rebel and I just want to eat even more. Um, anyways, so. I'm really proud of myself that I was able to get back on track. It took double the time that I thought. I Honestly, I thought I wasn't going to eat as bad on the vacation and I thought that as soon as I came back, I'd be back on track. But turns out that I ate like crap on the, on the vacation and it took me a week longer to start getting back on track, actually a week and a half. But it doesn't matter doesn't matter because I'm not the type of person who needs to lose this much weight in this much time. I'm not the type of person who puts those restrictions on myself and no, I just want to live a healthier lifestyle overall. I just want balance. I just want to eat healthier, um, exercise more, um, just feel better, live longer and a week on vacation isn't going to screw with that. It's when you do that 90% of the times that's when you're gonna screw yourself over. That's when you're gonna be unhealthy, like I was. 
back in 2014 when I was doing it every day. Every day I wanted pizza and chips and to sit on the couch. So every day that's what I was doing and that's the body I had and that's the mentality I had and that's the health I had. That's why I like the journey that I'm, I, I'm on is that no matter how many times I slip up or how many times uh, the path kind of changes or doesn't go as planned, it doesn't matter. It's all part of my journey and I'm going to keep going. And um, that's, that's what I really hope for you guys who, who watch me, no matter like what you follow, no matter if you count your calories, count your macros, um, do are vegan or paleo or keto, like whatever you follow, it doesn't matter as long as you're consistent with it. And when you slip up, you just keep going. You don't, slipping up doesn't mean it's over. Um, yeah, so I had a really, really, really good wedding, an amazing honeymoon, and I'm just so happy to be married. <sighs> Every time, like, I don't know, people ask me if it's different. I'm getting all like, water I think it, like people have asked me oh is it different because you know you and Jim already live together does it feel different and when we talked about this before we thought that it wouldn't feel different we thought ah, it's gonna be the same because you know our routine is gonna be right back to where it was but I do feel different and he feels different we we were saying that it just we feel like being official we feel more like committed more like family it it's just been really nice and so I'm just happy with everything, how everything went. You guys have been so amazing throughout everything from the day I got engaged, uh, planning this whole wedding, the wedding day, the honeymoon. You guys have just been so supportive and you say such the, like such nice, kind things. It just warms our hearts and like thank you that's it that's my update um i hope you enjoyed this video i hope i didn't talk a mile a minute and you didn't really understand anything if you have any questions leave them down below i try my best to get back to everyone's comments and questions and i love you guys we'll see you in the next video bye